Imagine friends Jane and John decide to form a general partnership to sell hats. It turns out that although John is a good friend, he's a lousy businessman, constantly making management and operational decisions so bad they're negligent. In Ferguson v. Williams, we explore whether one partner's negligence gives the other a claim for damages. John Ferguson and Robert Wellborn were business partners who undertook a real estate development project. When funds ran low, they sold Paul Williams a 25% interest for $15,000. Williams played an active role in the business. He maintained regular contact with Ferguson for updates and volunteered his own employees and equipment to assist with project tasks. When finances again got tight, Williams contributed another $5,000 and helped the business obtain a bank loan. But Ferguson and Wellborn were ultimately unable to secure construction financing, and the project failed. Williams then sued Ferguson and Wellborn, alleging, among other things, that they were negligent in their management of the business. The trial court concluded that Williams had an investor relationship with the business, that Ferguson and Wellborn's management had been negligent, and that Williams was entitled to damages. Ferguson and Wellborn appealed to the Texas Court of Appeals, arguing, among other things, that Williams was a partner in the business, not an investor, and partners couldn't recover for negligent management of the partnership.